Theodore McCarrick is the highest ranking Catholic clergyman to be punished in connection with sexual abuse. The Vatican announced he has been defrocked, completely removed from the priesthood. Both abuse and its cover-up can no longer be tolerated and a different treatment for bishops who have committed or covered up abuse in fact represents a form of clericalism that is no longer acceptable. McCarrick was accused of sexually abusing minors, including teenaged altar boys and older seminary students studying for the priesthood. If we're talking about accountability for bishops, um, we're actually doing it. It's not talk. It's also, we're walking the talk. There's also a very important signal for us bishops that we are not above the law. McCarrick, who is 88, rose from parish priest to bishop of diocese in New Jersey and was made a cardinal and archbishop of Washington, D.C. by Pope John Paul II. For years, complaints about McCarrick's sexual activities circulated among clergy and parishioners. Priests in New Jersey and New York wrote letters to their bishops and warned Vatican officials about McCarrick's conduct. And the parents of children who had been molested and adults who said the cardinal abused them as boys also spoke out. Numerous reports on McCarrick began emerging publicly in the media indicating high church officials, including former Pope Benedict XVI, were aware of the allegations but kept them quiet. Last year, Pope Francis ordered McCarrick to a church facility in rural Kansas to pray and make penance in seclusion. The decision to remove him from the priesthood is nearly unprecedented, church scholars say. You have to go back centuries. Somebody told me to the Council of Trent, that's almost 500 years ago, for a similar situation where a cardinal, a former cardinal, was laicized. So it's, it's a very big uh, decision in the history, it's a landmark decision in the history of the church. The action comes as Pope Francis prepares to preside over a meeting of leaders of all the Catholic bishops' conferences worldwide, called specifically to address the sexual abuse of minors and vulnerable adults in the church. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Washington.